Good evening, brothers and sisters. On behalf of the 311,000 members of the International Association of Firefighters, I want to take this opportunity to reach out and extend my congratulations tonight as you gather to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Saskatoon Professional Firefighters Local 80. I know that our General Secretary Treasurer Ed Kelly is also unable to be with you, but I want to make sure you know that Ed is doing a fantastic job on behalf of this entire international. He's really brought great creativity and innovativeness into the office. He's assembled a terrific team. He's managing your $68 million with great care and transparency. And we are all so better off for the work he's doing on behalf of this IAFF. And I know your Vice President, Mike Hurley, is there with you. And I know I don't have to tell you about the extraordinary work uh, that Mike is providing all across the 6th District. Uh, Mike, a seasoned, tough, and smart leader, and someone who I've come to recognize that his quietness at some times is a sign of great strength. Uh, I rely on his advice and counsel. He'll tell it to me like it is. He makes sure that your seat at that table is filled so that your voice is heard on how we're going to develop the next set of resources or services to make sure that you have what you need to do your very difficult job. So, Mike, I just want to extend my appreciation and recognition of a, a job well done. Thank you for everything you're doing on behalf of this IAFF. And Morley, Clint, and Jared, I know that you're doing terrific work there at the local. I know that Local Adia has been fighting for its members since its very first day. And over the last 100 years, you've done an extraordinary job of improving the lives of your members. As you know, your local was formed on the 29th day of May in 1918 under your first president, Albert Higgin, who just two weeks earlier was fired and then reinstated for attempting to form a union. With your charter in hand and union dues set at $1 a month, Local 80 set a course to build the foundation of a strong union that would always be there for its members. You have successfully fought to improve pay and reduce the number of hours a week that our members work. You've defended our members' collective bargaining rights and promotional system, all while making sure they can enjoy a secure and dignified retirement. In recent years, you've taken the steps to win presumptive legislation for heart injury and cancer, having nine different cancers added since 2003. And you've understood the need to assist with behavioral health issues with the establishment of a CISM team, who did tremendous work under the difficult circumstances during the recent response to the Humboldt Bronco team tragedy. This year, as we celebrate our international's 100th birthday, I think it's a value to look back in time to 1918 to better understand and appreciate what we've all accomplished over this past century. From those early days, it has been made clear that this union was not formed to be a club or social gathering but to be a force for change for those engaged in an honorable but dangerous profession. These past 100 years truly have been a century of progress, and the accomplishments we recognize are with the continual and persistent commitment of leaders like all of you. I look forward to celebrating that progress and honoring that commitment this August in Seattle, Washington, as we gather for our 54th IAFF convention. We will celebrate our union's 100 years with a gala that will benefit our foundation. And I'm encouraging all IFF affiliates and leaders to sponsor such a noble cause, which works to help our members and their families in their times of need. Take care, enjoy your time together, keep up the great work, and stay safe.